gentlemen welcome back to the newest episode of heavy metal music theory my name is dave thank you for joining me today we're looking at the song welcome home sanitarium by metallica we have an e to a b to an f sharp and a g which outlines a an e minor nine all right so you have e g b which is the E minor, and then the F sharp is the nine. Then we have the E, C, G, and G, which is kind of like an inverted C chord with an E in the bass. And then for the third, we have E, D, A, and G, which is kind of like an E minor 7 at 11. There's no 5th, but we do have that minor 3rd for the minor 7. It's a minor 7. We add the 11 with the A. And then the last little chunk, we have an A to a C sharp to a D. So that kind of outlines like just an A major chord. <laughs> All right, guys, for that little opening line to the solo, we're dealing with pretty much all notes from the E minor scale. We have the E, the F sharp, the G, there's an A, there's a B, and then there's also a D, all right? And it's just intermingling those notes throughout, making that solo section purely an E minor, which is classic Metallica. Let's see what we have coming up next. <laughs> guys there you have one of the verses that's the verse riff sleep my friend and you will see that part very chunky rhythm very chuggy very plodding right we're dealing with e b e c e d a g and so on so again we're sticking with the e minor theme here we're just using all those notes and intervals to create very, uh, very heavy metal vibes here on this song. A lot of sections. It's very melodic, but also very heavy. Let's let's check out what comes next. <laughs> Right, guys there you have the sanitarium chorus more goodness in e minor right we start off with the e we're doing a g to an f sharp the three to the two then we're throwing in a c to the b the six to the five and then we're kind of doing a little walk down d e d c b a g f sharp and then e so again just more classic Metallica in E minor. Right, guys there you have the next section which uh, throws in something that we see quite a bit with Metallica and Megadeth which is the perfect fourth interval or if you want to be different you could look at it as the perfect fifth interval but with the fifth in the bass all right not going to be too picky as to how we look at this but basically we're, we're riding on that open E and then we're throwing in five and four open which creates a perfect fourth or an inverted fifth and then we're doing the same two strings but frets two 
on both of those. So that creates yet another perfect fourth off of the B or an inverted E. So either way you slice it, we're still rocking in the key of E minor. And, you know, we've got the, the fourths off A, the fourths off B, and that open E. And, of course, those fourths, they make for a very tense and heavy version of something that's kind of bland and mild in terms of interval. Alright guys, there is the very end of the song, and we're sticking with E minor for the most part here. They're doing power chords off of, we got power chords off of E, power chords off of D, off of F which is really cool that's that's got to be the sweet spot right there because there is no f in the key of e minor right so we are pulling and or borrowing from e phrygian for this one it's a flat two that that's the metal chord right there the flat two and then we're throwing in the c to the b which is the five so we're setting up a resolution but we're not just gonna resolve to the one, we're gonna go from the five to the three, which is G, to the two, which is F sharp, and then down to that E to close it out. That's probably the best part of the damn song. Hey, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, all right? I appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. Link in the, D link in the comments to uh, Buy me a coffee if you like what I do and like to support me. For as little as one dollar, one time. Just let me know that I'm not wasting my life here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.